So Tigger has been on box rest for eight days now. Um, he's just had quite a big surgery for a keratoma in his foot, so quite a lot of the hoof wall's been removed. Um, and I thought I'd just make a little video of points of interest, maybe, since since he's had his operation. The first thing is how it's affected the other horses. So they're quite a tight group, and you can see um, they have access to this big, big field over here and access to a little paddock here and the yard. Um, all we can see of these guys really is Harvey. Um, but Harvey, Flynn and Elvis have basically been in the yard most of the time. So they're kind of box resting themselves as well. They're sticking close to Tigger. Second thing, um, to keep Tigger company, so we rotate the horse who's being a companion for him and they've got this space outside his field shelter. So just now Paddy is in keeping company. Paddy is the best companion, he's 36 and he doesn't do very much. He's nice and quietening and Tigger needs to not move around too much. I think the next thing is really thinking about how you look after a horse post surgery like this. So the vet advises box rest um, and the vet quite reasonably was slightly anxious about the field, size of field shelter that I've given him. Um, so long chat to the vet and it's always worth knowing, you know, box rest is part of the treatment for an injury. So what is the purpose of that treatment? So my vet was very nice and clear in explaining the purpose of the box rest in this case is to minimise movement and to keep the dressings very clean. So the surgery has gone right down to the bone in the foot. There's obviously quite a risk of infection. So keeping it very clean is really important. So the first thing that tells me is that leaving him out in this space with Paddy, while it would be nicer for him, isn't really going to work several reasons it's not going to work if it rains obviously dressings could get wet it's probably going to lead to too much movement and especially because these guys here are going to get overexcited about it and they're probably going to run about and that might cause ticker to run about as well so that kind of clarifies the options a bit other thing to think about so we know that what we want to do is minimize movement and keep the dressing clean so who do we have as a companion it would be ideal for all these four to take turns and then it would be easier on them but unfortunately Harvey and Harvey who's looking at us right now Elvis the Exmo Pony both of them come in and get very excited to see Tigger and they want to play nippy games and they want to run up and down in front of the shelter so they are not good companions just now. Flynn, the Arab at the back, stays pretty still. He's a reasonably good companion. Paddy, as I've said, is ideal. So that gives us another choice. Uh, just moving through to the back of the shelter. So minimising movement is quite interesting. I did think after the vet said, as little movement as possible, would he be better in a half or a third of the shelter? The problem about that, it's knowing your horse. So Tigger, if he's, if he's in a small space, is going to pace round and round and round. Not only is he probably going to move more, he's also going to move in a way that's putting probably more pressure on an unstable foot. I then wondered, what about if we gave him a paddock the size of a stable so he can come out the back of this out the back of his field shelter I've matted this area and given him a very small paddock and what I'm looking at firstly can I keep the dressings absolutely dry and secondly how much is he going to move and what I'm finding is he actually gets out there, gets his head down, eats and when he comes in he will sleep for a couple of hours. So we're actually reducing movement by giving him this little bit of space. Um, I have to supervise it obviously 
so I'm sitting out with him while he's out. Um, if it was very wet we'd have a problem and to be extra safe I'm doing it just before I change the dressings. Interesting little postscript so now I've just let Tigger out the back and you can see the other guys have gone straight out to graze so it's okay to leave now Tigger's out the back.